very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so of course guys as part of uh, fighting the scam business and of course as usual to be very honest and transparent with everyone um, either the clients or not clients in our group um, I wanted to share with you the results that we had so far this week of course yesterday was not a good day as you can see we had some profits on uh, some of the signals but however few of the signals we also had to close in loss as you can see right in front of you however today thankfully was really amazing and we have been able to recover all of the losses plus a lot of profits delivered to our clients in the premium group that is the big difference between the premium group and the free signals users um when we are sending the free signal, the free signal is usually the very first one in the premium group. We are just sending, for example, signal signal to sell to sell the euro USD on the premium group. Then we will sell the very same one to the to the free group. Always the first signal. However, if that signal failed for the clients or for the premium group, they can easily recover with the other four or th five signals we are sending on the premium group. However, for the free members or the, oh, sorry, the free signal users, it's hard for them because they're gonna have to wait for the next day to recover any potential losses happened because of the signal. Now, of course, uh, what we are saying always is there is no way that every single day will be profitable in Forex. That is not possible. Whoever says that, you, has, you should know that he's a scammer. We are here telling everyone, not every single day will be very profitable what matters is the end of the results at the end of the month not the end of the day the yesterday was not good today was amazing last week was just an unbelievable with more than 900 pips of uh, profits we have made to our clients so of course uh, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. Alright, so let's now begin with the midweek analysis. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now, before we proceed with the analysis, we have to show you something very important right here. So we have to be prepared on this upcoming Friday. Um, the market is almost going to be shut down due to the observance of the Good Friday. And I think all of the banks are going to be off except for the uh, USD. But however, still, I think the market or the Forex market in general is going to be shut down. So this is the problem right now. This mid midweek analysis is going to be valid only for these upcoming two days only, Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, what's happening right now with the market or what's happening with the Euro USD? As we can see, the Euro USD, let me go to the four hour time frame. Euro USD actually has fallen all the way directly straight to the take profit level immediately without touching our sell level, sadly. However, what's going to happen next with the Euro USD? Let me first delete the first signal. Now, let me show you something. Now, as we can see, the Euro USD is actually continuing the fall. As I told you always, my friends, when we are having here a previous support trend line like that, the general behavior of the market is that the market is actually going to continue the breakout until the market faces the support level on Fibonacci 61.8. And after that, it's going to rise again, retesting the broken support trend line to create a new resistance trend line. And after that, we have to see the reaction of the market because at that time, the market is going to revisit again that very strong resistance on 1.18908. That means the euro ust is gonna continue the fall and we just need to find where we can actually start again shorting the, the pair now if you want to identify where you can start shorting the pair all you need to do is identify the strongest support and resistance levels now by looking at the eyes here if we look carefully we can see that right here exactly right here this is the strong remember guys i'm on the daily chart so on daily chart, we can see that the pair has actually re recently made a bearish breakout candle from that support level on 1.17549. That means most likely the pair is going to right now revisit or retest the same level of the support and after that is going to continue the fall. If the pair falls, our target is going to be the support right here on 1.16210. This is going to be our level where we're going to be aiming um, to actually start shorting the euro usd and let me just move the safe zone exactly like that so if you notice my friends on the daily chart um we are having here also a previous support level and if we look carefully we are having right here two candles the peak of these two candles uh, represents a resistance 
So if the market actually rises a little bit above that previous support level, I think it's not going to exceed that previous resistance level. And after that, it's going to continue the fall. Now, remember, the market is going to be open only for the next two days. If I'm not mistaken, guys, guys maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Friday will be um, available for available for trading. But I, I think it's not going to be. Uh, depend, I think, on the brokers. But however, now what we need to see is let's go to the four hour time frame. And as we can see right here, this was the previous support level exactly on the level where we are going to short the pair. Therefore, Euro USD is good for the short again on 1.17550, I would say. 17550, correct, yes. And this is the safe zone. And for the target, let's go back to the daily time frame. And the safe, sorry, the target is going to be exactly the lowest level, the lowest level of the support right here. So we are actually talking about 130 pips of profit. Hopefully we will make them. So take profit level uh, 1.16247. There goes your remaining signal for this week. And I really hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's check the pound USD, which I'm very happy about because the pound USD actually has reversed literally exactly from the same level I have mentioned to start shorting the pair, which indicates thankfully high, a, a very high accuracy from extreme trader signals. Anyway, as we can see right now, the pound USD is actually running in uh, 100 pips of profits. And I hope you guys have taken this signal and are entertaining these profits right now. So for those who have missed entering this signal, can we start shorting the, the pound USD again? The answer is absolutely yes. Most likely the pair is going to continue the fall all the way to the mentioned take profit level. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, the pair right now is, uh, let me just show you this. On the four hour time frame, the pair has oh, actually um, almost exceeding 61.8 for natural retracement. If I'm not mistaken, the pair actually gonna eventually reverse for at least one time on Fibonacci 61.8 and right on that previous resistance level on 38.2, which is 1.37780. Um, we can start again shorting the pound USD and we're gonna still be aiming that take profit level. So we have to wait for the pound USD to rise for another 56 pips, pips before it's gonna, gonna be valid for the buy. Now, of course, I don't think that the pair is going to hold that much. If I'm not mistaken, uh, we can start shorting the, the pound USD exactly right here on that previous support level uh, on Fibonacci retracement number 50. Um, if we look also on the left, this is the same. Let me show you. If we look at the left, my friends, look at that. Check that out. Check that out. Look at this perfection. If we look at the left, we can see that here. Fibonacci, 50 retrace, uh, Fibonacci retracement 50 happens to be exactly the peak of the strong key resistance level on 1.37582, which was actually previously a support. Now, most likely, as I said before, the pound USD is going to reverse after hitting Fibonacci 61.8 uh, and it's going to hit that previous resistance level. So this resistance level has to keep its position again. And we can see here another resistance has, will be created. And after that, we can start again shorting the pound USD, aiming the very same level of the take profit level mentioned in the earlier video. Therefore, we have to wait for the pound USD to rise for another 40 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So let me just drag it here a little bit more, just like that. Yes, perfect. So let me just delete the old sell signal. And let's drag this one right here. Perfect, like that, exactly. Yes, perfect, perfect. Delete this one and delete this Fibonacci retracement. We don't need it anymore. So pound USD for those who have missed entering the signal uh, yesterday, they can start again shorting the pair at 1.37553. There goes your signal for the pound USD and I really hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. AUD USD, which I'm very proud about also. AUD USD has reversed exactly, uh, guys. Exactly. Come on, come on. Don't take, don't take it away from me because of 1.9 pips. I mean, that is not fair. Come on, guys. Right? Anyway, the pound, the AUD USD has reversed exactly from the level mentioned and running currently in about uh, or almost 70 pips of profit. And I believe it's gonna hit the take profit uh, level um, by tomorrow morning or even tonight. However, what we can do next with the pound, with the AUD USD, sorry. 
Now, very similar, similar to the pound USD. AUD USD right now is facing a Fibonacci retracement 61.8, and also might reverse again and uh, hit Fibonacci retracement uh, 38.2 this time, which was previously a support level. Even right here, as we can see, it was almost the same. I think, right? Let me just check to confirm. It was the same. Perfection. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Let me delete this one. As we can see, the very same level of that previous key support level was also a previous a resist a previous resistance level right here, and that resistance has to keep its position again right here after the pair reversing from 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. Therefore, AUD USD is going to be good again for the short at 0 0.76208 and of course let me just use the exactly same safe zone from uh, our last week um i just need actually to zoom okay that's good exactly like that uh, okay just make sure um one second guys yeah, now it's better. So this is uh, the signal for the AUD USD for those who have missed entering this signal again. So uh, we are still going to be aiming about 50 pips of profit. I mean, this is what the signal is giving us, my friends. If you, if in case you have entered this signal um, in the right time, you could have been in about 62 pips of profit so far. But in case you just want to enter the signal again, especially with the short time period, we have only maybe two days. I think 50 pips is going to be enough from this deal. So uh, there goes your signal for the AOD USD. And I really hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. USD CAD. USD CAD has actually resumed rising also, and the pair has gained some strength from supported by the gains. Uh, sorry, the, the the strength that the USD dollar has gained. However, uh, the pair has went all the way directly to the take profit level without touching or visiting our buy level, which is fine. Let me delete the old signal, and let's see where we can start again buying the AUD USD because the pair is actually perfect for the buy right now. So if we look carefully. We can see that right here exactly where i have drawn my line here we can see that we had here a previous strong key support level and as we can see that support has hold it or has actually held the position for quite long time however that was a very strong support level even when the market has made right here a fake breakout from it immediately the market has rose again um for example look at here this previous support uh, the key support level uh, after the break or after the bearish breakout candle has actually created few attempts of the resistance but however immediately the market broke out from that resistance level and immediately the market has respected that support level and again the 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 usd cad um, has been acting as a support level exactly on the same level right here on 1.26082 however again the very same scenario repeated is repeated itself uh, the, the market actually has created here three attempts of the resistance which didn't hold for a long time look at the reversals the market actually has made a small pivots right here or small pullbacks only the market didn't fall when 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 it touches when it touched that previous uh, resistance level immediately the market has created this bullish breakout candle immediately that being said i can say calmly that most likely the usd cad is gonna fall for another 20 pips revisiting exactly the same level of the support and after that we can start again buying the pair so that being said this is the same level uh, the safe zone and this is exactly where we will be uh, buying the usd cad and exactly this is gonna be our take profit level so the take profit level has to be changed right now to be um, 1.27355 and the buy level we're going to we're going to buy the USD CAD on 1.26082 there goes your signal for the USD CAD as well and I hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits let's now take a look at the usd gpy which as <laughs> i'm very happy about it honestly <laughs> look at this perfection my friend this is what i call perfection a perfect signal as we can see i have mentioned that we can start buying the usd gpy exactly from this level um which is one 109.369 as we can see the signal has reversed perfectly from the same level and running currently in 92 pip pips of profit a uh, total of 105 pips of profit now of course uh, the USD GPY is going to continue rising 
and definitely we can start again if in case you guys have missed uh, entering this signal let me show you what, where we can start again buying the uh the pair if i'm not mistaken exactly from this level right here exactly yes right here on fibonacci 60, uh, 38.2 um, as you can see right here, this is the bullish breakout candle and this week right here as tiny as it is represents a resistance and of course because um, we are on the 4 hour time frame. That being said, we have to wait for the USDGPY to fall for another 28 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy again. So USDGPY is going to be good for the buy again if in case you guys have missed entering this signal. Uh, look at this number. 109.999 really no way man i'm just gonna write 110 <laughs> 110 is exactly where we can start buying the look at that this is the okay let me just make it more obvious for you more obvious i hope so <laughs> let me just uh, use the same safe zone as we can see exactly the same one the same one we have used before and just one here and this one of course, the take profit level has to be uh, remain. It's gonna remain the same, and I think it's gonna continue the rise uh, all the way to hit the take profit level. So we can still wait for the USDGPY to rise for another 71 pips after re-entering this signal again, 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 and really again. I hope it's gonna continue to be a very good signal and still continue to give us more profits. USDCHF. USDCHF has reversed. I think here, right? 29. Yes, yesterday. It has reversed just like um, nine pips before reaching our tech profit. Uh, sorry, before reaching our sell. Uh, sorry, our buy level, and currently running in 60 pips uh, above our uh, buy level. So what we can do next with the USDCHF? Now the USDCHF actually uh, is going to continue the rise, and as we can see right here, the pair has already retested the broken resistance level right here on on 0 0.94145. That previous resistance has already been retested. But however, if we look uh, at the left side, let me just go to the daily chart. Let's go right here. If you look carefully, my friends, on the very same level right now, on uh, 0 0.94290 at the time of recording this video, the pair actually now reverse uh, re uh, facing a resistance level. Now, I'm not saying that the USDCHF is going to fall, of course. It's just going uh, it's just going to fall for another pullback. And if I'm not mistaken, the USDCHF actually going to fall a little bit more to hit the peak of the previous resistance right here as 0.9454. We can expect from the USDCHF to fall for another 23 or 24 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. That being said, USDCHF is good for the buy as 0.94054. And if I'm not mistaken, we can keep also the same tech, pro tech profit level. Let me just uh, drag this one right here, the safe zone. And here is the other edge of the safe zone. So if we have entered the signal, we can still be expecting about um, 85 pips of profit. So there goes your signal for the UCCHF. And I really hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now for the gold. The gold actually has fallen all the way directly to the or straight to the take profit level, sadly, without triggering our uh, sell level. Now, the gold actually, let me delete this because it's going to actually be obstacle. Let me delete all of that. Now, let me tell you something about the gold. Now, the gold is going to continue falling, I'm telling you. But however, it's a matter of where we can start again shorting the gold. Right now, the gold is facing a very strong support zone, as we can see right here. And actually, it, it has reached the oversold zone. Uh, but however, I believe eventually the gold is going to continue falling after all. Now, it's a matter of where we can start again shorting the gold. Now, I don't want to make it a long story. But however, if we look carefully at the left, my friend, always, always depend on the left side to find the strongest support and resistance levels. As we can see right here, the gold here has faced a, a very previous, uh, sorry, a very previous, a very strong previous resistance level. Check that out. That level of the resistance cannot simply be ignored, especially after seeing this very strong bearish momentum on the gold. The gold, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, and in my opinion, is shouting for shorting. The gold is going to continue fall for sure. Now we just need to find the strongest resistance level 
to identify where we can start again shorting the gold now we are just hoping actually that the gold has to reverse or make a pullback right after hitting this support zone and reverses all the way or make a pullback just to hit the previous support level right here which happens of course to be exactly the same level of the strong key resistance level this is exactly where we can start again shorting the gold and of course if in this if uh, if we started shorting the gold here our target is going to be the support level on 1641.96 we eventually have to wait for the gold to rise for another 130 pips which is going to be happening very soon in my opinion and after that we can again short the gold therefore uh, gold gold is good for the short at 1699 0.04 i'm just being very precise here guys sorry so let me just use this one as a safe zone the safe zone now right now this is very important the safe zone actually let me just zoom in um, for our time frame the safe zone of course guys if we are going to short right here at that previous support level the the safe zone has to be right here just uh, until this previous resistance let me just make it more clear uh, okay just like that perfect yes just right here till the peak of the resistance because if in case the gold gonna go against our direction uh, this is exactly exactly where the gold has to reverse eventually depending also on that previous resistance right here as you can see most likely this is where the gold eventually gonna reverse but however if i'm not mistaken the gold actually gonna reverse exactly from the level where i have mentioned is gonna reverse right here therefore and that being said this is exactly where we will short uh, the gold as i'm telling you again i'm reminding uh, reminding everyone this is my recommended level to start shorting the gold but you have to expect that the gold might rise against you for a few more pips so please enter with enter wisely and invest a, a dedication of uh, or in, invest an amount uh, or a dedicated amount for this deal because the gold might go in more than 100 pips of loss before it's gonna be uh, finally in profit so you have to be very careful and wise uh, about how you are using this deal actually by saying that i'm really thinking to drag my my sell level to be here exactly right here but however we have to wait for the gold to rise for another 200 pips to reach that level that's not gonna make sense in my opinion i really don't see the gold reaching that level and most likely let me just go again to the daily chart let me show you I, in my opinion, the gold won't be able to exceed the peak of that resistance level right here where I have mentioned that we can start again shorting the gold. That is my opinion. I don't think the gold is going to be able to exceed that level, especially with the strength that the dollar is gaining right now. So this is the, the edge of the safe zone. Therefore, the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 150 pips. However, the take profit and hopefully we can make it is going to be about 500 and 70 pips of profit and i really hope it's gonna happen this week uh, since the gold is moving very fast so therefore take profit level gonna be 1641.96 of course again i have to remind everyone to be very careful and wise about their trades um just because uh, extreme trader sent these signals doesn't mean at all that they're gonna be 100 percent profitable of course, you have to be wise about how you are managing your funds, how you are handling your trades and prepare always for the losses because they can always occur. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.